Louisa, thank you. The ship that hit the bridge in Maryland, the Dolly, was headed from Baltimore to Sri Lanka when it crashed. It was under the control of one or two bay pilots at the time who specialize in bringing ships in and out of port. We learned at the Mass Maritime Academy that in order to become a harbor pilot, you have to earn a degree in marine transportation and pass the U.S. Coast Guard license exam. You then spend 10 to 12 years gaining experience and working your way up to additional responsibilities. Some pilots earn their unlimited master's license, which means there are no limits on the kind of vessel they can pilot. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at Mass Maritime tonight. And Christina, I know you got a chance to actually see some of the training. Right, Lisa, we are overlooking Buzzards Bay here at Mass Maritime Academy, and we're standing in the building that houses the ship simulator, the next best thing to being on a real ship when it comes to training. So realistic, we even felt a little seasick. Right here, our speed through the water is 8.6 knots. And if we look out over the side, you can actually see that we're moving at a fairly decent pace. Spring lines, fore and aft, fore this is how future mariners at Mass Maritime Academy are introduced to the challenges of navigating through a major bridge, a video game quality simulator to prepare for real life scenarios that are far from any game. It's extremely challenging and, and takes years and years of experience and training uh, in order to be able to, to do this safely. So let's get our bearings here. This is the Verrazano Bridge in New York. You can see we're on a cargo ship, the containers out front, and behind me here, the cityscape. That's New York City. It can take up to a mile for some of these ships to get stopped, uh, depending on the circumstances. So we really need to think well out miles ahead of the ship. You can see why this hits home here, where ships regularly move through Cape Cod bridges, some 60 miles south of the major cargo pulling into the port of Boston. You get all that force, all that momentum, just going sliding through the water. And Captain Angel Montanez is an assistant port engineer here in the port of Boston. If you're going so, so fast in the water, you just, just don't have brakes. You just can't stop or, uh, or, or, or let's say, you know, drop the anchor, swings around or stops it from going in the direction it's going. It, it's too late. A tragedy that instructors here hope the industry can learn from. Certainly we try to prepare our cadets for these, these type of scenarios and uh, that every ship has emergency procedures for these type of things. That was Captain Michael Burns and he's the executive director of this facility and he says since navigating through bridges is such a common scenario for any mariner, it's a big priority for the training here. Live and born, Christina Hager, WBZ News.